This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, we shall rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Take a long. Now, how long did it take us to get to where we are right now? 
So it may be a process in order for you to get where the Lord wants you to come. Can I get a witness? Uh, but you have to start working on it. It's just like going to any type of meeting or any time. If you go into school, the school just can't teach you by yourself. You have to be a willing what participant. Is that right? Now, if you go in there and acting up and acting a fool, the teacher can't teach because you what? You interrupting the class, right? And most likely what they will do is kick you out of the school. Is that right? Same way if you go to a meeting, the first thing they say you got to have to what? First, acknowledge yourself that you want some type of help, right? No matter what it is, whether it be for this, whether it be for that, substance abuse, whether it be for sex, whether it be for liquor, whether it be for cigarette smoking, whatever. But you as an individual have to recognize, I want some help. Is that right? When you recognize that you want some help, then, amen, you give your mind, you give your time to God. To give your mind is to give your heart, because your heart goes with your mind. So a lot of times people say, I love you with this. You can't love with this. It just beats blood through your body. But the heart of you is this, how you think. How you, your conscience, how you feel, and how you, uh, how you deliver from your, communicate that which you feel, that which you think. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, be not conformed to this world. Now, you already going to be conformed to the world because you was born what? In the world, which is born in sin. I, I, say, I mean, Psalm chapter 51, and shaping in iniquity. But Psalm 51 and 10 says, Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew within me the right spirit. Why? Because I recognize that I'm a sinner. I can't help but do what's wrong because that's what's on the inside of me. Can I get with it? But when you start working on me, God, but how is God going to work on you? First of all, God draws because just like you learned your ABC, you didn't come out your father's body to your mother's body to the world just knowing how to read. Come on, say amen. Huh? amen. Somebody had to teach you. Huh? Yeah. You didn't get up and go get no milk bottles. Come on, huh? Somebody had to go back and forth and get them formulas for you. Come on, say amen. Huh? Yeah. You ain't do nothing but dookie on yourself. Huh? Somebody yeah. had to clean you up. Come on, say amen. Huh? Yeah. Somebody had to clean you up. Somebody had to nurse you, contact comfort, is that right? So what God does, God comes to you with a word. This is what preaching is about. Somebody had to teach you. Somebody had to father you. Somebody had to mother you. Come on and say amen. amen. Huh? So amen. that's teaching you. That's like when people say knowledge yourself. The knowledge of yourself is what others have taught you, but what you learn to internalize, to cipher as, or dichotomize as right or wrong. Come on and say amen. Because you will be responsible once you get a certain level, uh, A, you will be responsible for everything you do. You can't, you can't say, well, she did this, and he did that, and they did that. You have to take what? Responsibility for yourself. Come on and say amen. Amen. I can't go to the judge on the earth or God, the judge, and say, well, they did that. He's going to say, I called you. You know what you're doing. Is that right? When you get your when you get your car, you can't say what the passenger told you to do. They're gonna say, Well, you should have let the passenger drive. Is that right? You can't let the back seat driver tell you what to do. Is that right? They're gonna say you're the back seat driver should should have been in the driver's seat. Is that right? If I have an accident and I'm driving, and I said, Well, she, he, or they, they're gonna say, Well, he, she, or they should have been driving. But since you were driving, you are responsible. Come on, say that. Huh? So this is what it is with God. God is talking to us right now. God is sending a word through the land. Of course, the devil is going through the land as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But the word of God still stands assured that for God so loved the world, meaning for God so loved you and you and you and you and you. He so loved us that he gave us a message and is giving us a message today. Come. Praise the Lord. Now, I don't like to put a damper on anything, but we got to deal with reality. And all of us are at least over 20 here. Is that right? All of us, right? Amen. I know we are. I just won't be telling you. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Y'all hear one tell nobody. Come on, say amen. But praise the Lord. You as young as you feel. Is that right? Amen. And when you come to the Lord, that's what keeps you young. Come on, say amen. amen. And the youthfulness is in the Lord. Now, this is what I'm about to break to you. We all are dying, but we die to live. You are born to live, to die, to live again. You got me? You're born to live, to die, to live again. This is why Jesus said you must be born again. Now, a lot of us can't grab hold of it. I'm, gonna try. I'm not going to try. I'm going to give it to you, and I pray that God gives it to you. Now, everything we do as the clock continues to tick and the meridian continues to go around the clock, we're getting closer to our eternal home. This world is just our dress-up room. This is this is basic training right here. All that we're doing here, according to Revelation chapter 20 and 15, amen, whoever was not written in the Lamb's book of life was written, was found, and was cast into the lake of fire. Now, God does not want anybody to go into the lake of fire. His job, he says that 
I is not my will that any should perish, but that all should come to the knowledge of repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is recognizing that I need God. I have not been living for God. I'm outside of the ark of safety. I'm really lost. I'm in the world. I'm like the walking dead. Like you ever seen like them, them horror movies, the walking dead, the dead come out of the grave, they walking. I mean, but you can tell they, they just messed up. Is that right? Then compared to the other ones that are living, they trying to destroy them, right? Now this is what demons are. Demons are fallen spirits and Nephilim and you know, they out to destroy you to keep you from coming on God's side. But you already were born in sin, but they know that you got something that they don't have, and that is the opportunity, amen, to be saved. So they, the devils are trying to kill you and destroy you. The devil's job in John chapter 10 and 10, and Jesus said that the devil's job is to come to rob, kill, and destroy, but I come that you might have life and give it to you more abundantly. Come on, say amen. Huh? amen. But so the devil's job is to try to get your mind Amen. Control your mind so you won't understand that God so loved you. Or either twist the love to say, yes, he loves you, but so you don't have to change. He loves you, so you don't have to clean up. You know what I'm saying? But that don't make no sense. Now, let's go back to what we did on the last service. If you go to a wedding, if you're invited to a wedding, we can't go with street clothes on to no wedding. That's about everybody know that. Is that right? You might be very relaxed in street clothes. Is that right? Praise the Lord. But that don't make, that, that, that's not what the people that's having the wedding, the bride and the groom going to be looking at us like, get them out of here. They, they are, what they saying, you cramping our style. Is that right? They want everybody to look good. Is that right? And they feel like this. If you can't come right, what? Come at all. Is that right? Now, this is the way God is. Now, God has opened up the door, his love, and so we get it twisted like, but he loves us. It's not a love where we do what we want to do. We're not supposed to be like spoiled children. Come on, say exactly. that. We're supposed to be cleaned up children. In fact, we don't become children until we come to Jesus Christ. Now, he's the door. Now, some people say because we come from Adam and Eve, we all the children of God. But Adam and Eve messed that up. Why? How? Why? Because they got tricked by Satan. How? By being tricked by Satan. <laughs> Same answer. Oh, you know I mean? Same answer. You know what I mean? They got tricked by Satan. Satan got them to eat from the what they was not supposed to eat of, and same thing with the world. We learning a lot. The Bible says we're ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. You know what I mean? We know so much. You know, I, got, I hear people every day talking about current events, what's going on in America, why the government ain't right, why Asia ain't right, why China ain't right, why the white man ain't right, why the black man ain't right, why we ain't right. But who is right? Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth, and I am the life. When I incorporate that in my mind, that allows me to press up way beyond who I really am in the flesh. You understand what I'm saying? That keeps me pressing, and that will keep you pressing to know that whatever your problem is, whatever your circumstance, whatever your situation, whatever your vice, whatever your addiction, if you just would give it to Jesus, come on and say amen. amen. Uh, it's real. But God got to draw you. This is what I'm saying. So God, you don't just come to God just like you didn't just come to Alphabet. You didn't just come to Mass. You didn't just come to simulate. You didn't just come to breastfeed it. Somebody had to draw you to it. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. So the same thing with the word of God. Somebody had to present it to you. Now, you have the right to say, I'm going to accept it or I'm going to reject it. You know what I'm saying? Now, upon accepting it, you receive life. Because Jesus said, if you come unto me, <laughs> praise the Lord, I will. And no wise guys out. Hey, Amen. Shake that deacon over there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but shake him up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> hey, deacon, we know you just rest in your eyes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Everything all right now? Yeah. Only way you're going to get to God is to hear ye the word of the Lord. The only way to learn math is to learn from the math teacher, right? You learn spelling from the English teacher and reading and paragraph, how to put punctuation, sentences, and stuff together. Is that right? You learn psychology from a psychologist. You learn the word of God from the preacher. Now, just like an officer, many of us as human, as citizens, we'll look at a police officer and say, I'm a man just like he is. I'm a woman just like she is. But the difference is you are men. You are women. But they got on a uniform. That makes them different. Is that right? So the same thing with the calling of God. If God calls one to be, amen, a prophet, a preacher, a teacher, amen, they are a man. Or they may, if a prophet is a woman, amen, but they are in the in the office of God, in the uniform of God. And it's up to you to hear the word of God. God usually not going to come out and stand on the cloud and call you by your name. 
he's going to use somebody else to do the same thing when you learn math. He didn't, he didn't stand on the cloud and say, hey, I'm going to teach you math from the cloud. He sent somebody to teach you, right? He orchestrated a system whereby you learn. Is that right? And that's the same thing with God. Yeah. You ever notice with people that when you start talking about the word of God, amen, they say, uh, they, when it comes to the word of God, they say, oh, that's, that's a man's book when it comes to the Bible. So was the science book, but you learned science, right? right. So right. was the spelling book, but you learned spelling, right. Right? right? So was everything else. You learned how to drive. What? I'm a driver's what? Manual. Is that right? Everything is right. What are, what are we going to do in life that's not going to be touched by man? Mm -hmm. Even the very women that are here, beautiful women that are here. Every woman came from man. God says, not good luck for a man to be alone and did what? Created well, him a woman. Come on, say that. Brought them together, brought forth Amen. children, and the world would flourish. Is that right? So God has a purpose for everything. First of all, maybe I better change this.